Welcome to the database on constitution building processes in fragile settings. The database is currently funded by the UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office under the Peace and Conflict Resolution Evidence Platform, a project led by the University of Edinburgh. This database allows you to search and compare constitution building processes that arise in fragile settings. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to the database search and filter functions, as well as the pinning function and what you can do with it. In this database, you can search for and compare constitution building processes by country, year and topic. Here you can see all countries in the database. If you click on the country name, the year the process concluded pops up. If you're looking for a particular process, you can click on the name of the country or on the year. You can search for as many processes as you like. Click search to see the results page for your selection. There are also other ways you can search for particular processes. You can, for instance, limit the year range to find processes that concluded within a time period. When you click on general filters, you can choose from a range of different filters. For instance, if you're interested in a particular region, you can click on it here. Maybe you're interested in processes that had a peacekeeping force in their territory during the constitution-making process. You can then select the filter here. Or you may be interested only in processes where the international community had a support role. Then you can select that filter here. Or if you're interested only in those processes where the constitution had to be ratified in referendum, you can select that filter here. If you still can find the right filter, tap a keyword in the search for keyword bar. Then you press search. And we obtained 38 processes that specifically mention the word women. If you want to further limit your search, you can use the filters in the menu on the left. We're now again at the home page. A different way of looking for content in this database is by using the specific search topics here. Each process is divided in eight partially overlapping stages from the talks about talks to the initial and the final drafting stage to any amendments that may have been adopted later on. Each stage includes some of the content that you can find in each case study. We have selected what we think is the most interesting or important content in comparative perspective. When you click on, for instance, type of forum, you can search for that specific content across all processes. Here you can see the results for your selection. Now let's return to the home page. You could also select different content out of different stages or choose particular stages. Once we're on the results page, we can also further filter information using the general filters, as we saw before, or the topics which refer to the stages. What we may want to do once we have all the information on interim constitutions from all processes, is filtered down to only those processes, those cases that actually had an interim constitution. The results appear after a little while. And then we have information on interim constitutions for those processes that actually included an interim constitution, which are 20 out of the 45 we have.
Maybe you don't need a filter you initially selected anymore. You could then choose to deactivate some of the filters. Or clear all filters by pressing this button. Now we're again at the results page. Without any filters, the results page will show the full number of cases the database contains. And here on the left side, as we saw before, you can find the filter and topic menus that you can also find on the home page. I'd like to show you now how you can save and compare information from the database. Let's select, for instance, the case of Afghanistan. If you're interested in just one process, you can check its content by clicking on Read More. Here you have the entire constitution building process divided in eight stages, plus some contextual properties, what we call core properties, on the country in question. When you click on a particular stage, you can see all questions and answers, plus comments and references. Now you can also see that every question, every stage, and the process as such has a pin button you can click. So if you click on a question or on a stage or on the process as such, you're sending that specific question, stage, and process to my pin board. When you go to my pin board, you can see all the content you pinned. That content you can either export to Excel or to PDF. And you can also choose to unpin particular content before you export. Or you can also remove all pins by clicking here. Once you're done with the pin board, you can close it by clicking the button on the upper right corner. On the results page, you have two options. You can export to PDF or to Excel either a particular process here on the right hand side. Or if you're reviewing more than one process, you can export all results of your search to either PDF or Excel here on the upper side. Now, if you go back to the home page, you could also choose to download the full data set in Excel here. And we always welcome your feedback on what content we should add to the database or how to improve your experience using it. If you want to submit feedback, please click here and let us know your thoughts. Enjoy.